Hi there, Plastic Junkie back with his part two of his second HD uh, toy cave video. Uh, now we're doing a second segment where I show you just what I have. It's not on a particular one. Yes, I took a lot on my superpowers because a lot of people like superpowers and for me, everyone asks me what's your favorite collection? It's superpowers. It's my number one collection. Second is He-Man, third is Dungeon and Dragons, Mask is four, and my fifth one is Rambo and then it goes on and on and on. And my Rambo, I love them too. I'm gonna show you something before here. I'm gonna do a review on him. If anyone knows what this is, this is uber rare. This comes from the UK only. I'm gonna tell you what it is. It was the last figure made in the classic uh, Fantastic Four line from Marvel Legend. There's a, a classic line of X-Men over there. You see them. I never did this, this segment. They're on the on card still. And this this was. It's called the Doombot. Only done in the UK. In this condition, loose. 75 to about 95 dollars in the package 125 and it goes higher it's uber rare that's the new version of hulk buster iron man from the iron man line uh then you have fing fang foom another uh, some th three characters from devil man and this is from uh the tent he's one of the bad guys of the tent then you know my rambles here everyone else tells me do you have sectors yes i have sectors i have them all i just don't have the riders I don't, i'm missing two of the the beasts and the hive all the sectors are there. I have infaceables. Those infaceables all the way in the back. Vaction action packed figures. You you put you pull them apart, their face changes. These are super unnaturals. We did them already. Then you see my my black my black star. Yeah, no, sorry, my black star. Yes, plus my po uh, power lords, Adam Power and Power Lords, my brave stars, my mask. Have you seen before? Then at the bottom, I'm sorry if it's all the way to the bottom. We have all masks, only mask vehicles, all my mask collection. Different variants of figures too. I have all kinds of different ones. Then we go up. We're gonna walk slowly here now because a lot of things are gonna fall. Here we have. We start with my uh, my figures of uh, what's it called, uh, Dungeon and Dragon. This is a fake one from Ideal. They're fake figures. They came out in the 80s, 84. That's the the horse. Paid five dollars, and I paid in this one two-headed uh, monster two, five dollars. Uh, how much they're worth? They're worth a lot. Uh, how much? I can't tell you because there's there's no guide on these fake figures. I like fake figures. A lot of people don't, but you know my subscribers do. Then you have some toy biz up here. Where I have some Captain Powers, Flash Gordon, Black uh, the Black Hole. I oh my God! I have the Gremlins. He's falling down. I have uh, Lo uh, Zorro. And Tonto. Then I have all. I have alpha, some Alpha Flights. I have Iron Man's. I have different types of figures from Marvel and DC mixed. Then you saw my Ultraman figures already. We did that. We did. We didn't do Eagle Force yet. We're gonna do Sky Commanders. Eventually, one time. We're gonna do. I, I just bought these recently. Some GI Joe figures. These three are new. One, two, and three are new. Dead Mint in the package. Beautiful from my guy's collection. That's in the future. We have Mego uh, DC, Retro Action DC Superheroes we're going to do a, a segment on. We're going to do a segment on Teddy Ruxin. We're going to do a segment on Pocket Superheroes. These are the two exclusives. I'm missing only Superman. Watch that. Then we're going to do a segment on these type of uh, X-Men. This is an uber rare one. Uh, because she's a little bit harder to get. The Rogue uh, and Panaqui. And now she's in uh, True Blood. We're going to do a segment on vintage, carded, the real Ghostbusters, which I haven't done yet. I only did the Ecto Glows, but look, I have all the Super Frights. I have one, two, three, four, five, and I have two with Fright features. The Traps and Fearsome Flesh. We're going to do the Mego style retro of the Ghostbusters. I'm going to open them with uh, Janine and, uh, what's his name, San Haim. We're going to do Mad Figures, the original Mad Figures. How much are they worth? For all one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, six figures, no joke. I could get you could get for the whole set at least five hundred dollars on card. I'm not joking. Then we have different figures here. We have the Warriors, we have Xena, we have Wildcats. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a Silver Surfer. We're gonna do all the X Men from the X Men uh, Classic line. We're gonna do a Dawn figure. We're gonna do Iron Man. That's that uh, ultra rare. A US age, but now he's not rare anymore. He's, it went down so low from $100, it's worth about on card. Don't pay more than $25. Then we have the rarest of the rarest is DC superheroes, DC Direct, Cyborg Superman. He's worth $250 on card. Let's say $175 to 250 
He's rare too, the exclusive Superman from uh, Justice line of Alex Ross. He was available only through the, the comic shop. It was one per store for around the world. You, then I have, what do I have? I have Killer Tomatoes we're going to do soon. Yeah, Earth Force, they're rare. Uh, this is the bad guy from King Arthur and, and, and the Knights of Justice. There's only five figures, uber rare. Actually, no, he's a good guy. No, he's a bad guy. Mm -mm. No, he's the bad guy. He's a good guy. Bad guy. Look. Really? Look. Oh. Okay. He's in black. Okay, the panning here, slowly. Uh, come around. Come slowly when you're walking. These are all my DC Direct. But we're not going to do that because it's too much to do. Right here, I'm going to open this, is I'm going to do it in the future, it's Small Soldiers, my Small Soldier collection. Everyone, almost everyone's there, I don't have everybody. Then, eventually one day, we're going to come a little bit closer, forget about all the DC Direct, there's way too many. We're going to do more Muppets. These are my Muppet collection. I'm missing just Rolf. And at the bottom, one day we're going to do... Bill and Ted, Bogues Journey. Excellent, party time. No, that's Wayne's World. <laughs> I don't remember how they go. How do they go, with, uh, uh, Bill and Ted? How does the song go? Wild Stallion. Wild Stallion, <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Uh, here I have uh, Ren and Stimpy and Family Guy, the only ones I have, and Kenny, and some Futuramas. Then, okay, we can't, what time is it now? Uh, it's six minutes. Perfect. Now we come to like creme la creme. The ones that everyone was asking me, what do you have in this showcase? Now, these, there's not going to be much glare, but here we have different rings I've collected. Some are from G.I. Joe uh, figure lines. Some are from Legionaries of the original DC Direct. A is for Avengers. That's the, the line for the, 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 the Blackest Knight. All the figures of the Green Lanterns are all from the, 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 the DC Direct. You have figures. Then in the back of the Blackest Knight, uh, nine set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine. Nine set. Uh, ring. Each one uh, glows with a real special key. That set goes for $150. No joke. Here we have Pocket Heroes. Mixed with some Pocket Heroes. Then there's some more Pocket Heroes. I have a card of Art of Green Lantern. I collect cards too, believe it or not. Then we have, I can't open that one, I don't have the key. Hope it doesn't get glare. We have Muscles, my muscle collection. Then we go a little bit more lower, and we see I have the Adams Family. I have Ticks, Pee Wee Herman, what are we going to do soon? I have one Zorro character right there. The bad guy that fights Zoro. I have no Zoros. Hey, yes, I have some Ghostbusters and I have, these are Turtles Glow in the Dark. Here we have uber weird things. Uh, serial rings of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back in the 80s. I have a ring of uh, the skull from the Phantom. I have a coin ring made of not gold but pl plated gold from uh, the ca a card set of um, what's it called? Bob Marley. I have an original Dick Tracy detective pins from the 40s. How much it's worth between 100 and something and 200. Then the rest are different new rings from uh, from uh, new pins from Dawn. The same ring of uh, the Phantom when the movie came out and a Spawn giveaway ring. Then we have the world's smallest comic books, which we're going to do a, a review on. We did the one with the Thor. It, like the size of, really, it is small. Here I have Micro Machine. And I have some Starcom. We didn't do Starcom yet. Yes, I have Starcom. This shelf we have my Crystar and my Micronauts and some Battle Beasts. Then here we have all kinds of miscellaneous weird stuff. If you could if you could shine the light all the way in the back, I have an original Superman tin pin from the 1940s. Uh, the value of that is between, I would believe, 150 to $350 dollars. And an original Bruce Lee from a, 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 a board game. But here I have one of my favorite collections, my sixth favorite collection. These are my Battle Beasts. Two big play sets, the Phoenix and the Beetle, and about 40 uh, figures. The one right there that's on the Beetle, it's a laser, laser beast. You see through the eye, and you can see that's water. But he's not water, he's actually fire. I don't know how it's possible. Here I have a weird um, pen set of DC characters from Australia. Believe it or not, Burger King. Comic action heroes. I have an original bolt from Corgis. Yes, I have Corgis too. Here we pan with unusual things. I have a little 
penny book from Little Orphan Annie from the 1930s of Big Little Books. I have nudie cards. Yes, the nudie cards. I have Suicide Girls. That's where I saw you Suicide Girl cards, both sets. I have old playing cards from the 70s of Shazam and Wonder Woman. I have an original r r small viewing film of Castle Films' The Deadly Mantis. I have an original pack of the Incredible Hulk card, and I have an original playing card of Green Hornet. That goes for about $100 to $150 in on the internet, believe it or not. Here we have more corgis and all kinds of different uh, cards. I have, a, I have, I have a Captain America, Captain America long car. I have some weird Japanese Batmans in the back. I have, I have a working uh, flashlight from Wonder Woman back in the, like in the 80s, no, 70s. I have some rings, some pins, a spawn. I have all kinds of free away, freebies like from um, Bulletproof Monk, Jeepers Creepers, uh, Red, I don't remember that movie. Night Watch, which I didn't like. It was stupid. It was a stupid horror movie. Then here we have some more corgis. I have one mint sealed corgi Batmobile. Believe it or not. Paid a lot for it. How much is it worth? Mm, I believe between 350 to 400 Never been opened. It's number 107. I have some junior corgis. Here I have more muscles. I have the other world. The right there is the guy with two heads and, and the main guy, the main good guy, the blonde guy. All my Indiana Jones and an original pin from Schwarzenegger Commando where you only get this in 1985 when you went to the movie for free. I got it from a friend of mine. That's cool, eh? Hey, nobody's talking. Then I have my guts, my ego force. We're gonna do that too. And at the bottom, the last, last one, I have my uh, Bionic 6, my Star Wars, my my uh, Dragon, Dragon? Dino Riders, my whole complete collection I finished of uh, Battlestar Galactica and three Tron figures and a few miscellaneous figures from Fisher Price of these aliens. And this is Ram, Ram, Ram Man and that's Hulk from the, the World Warriors which you get in figures. And some Star Wars like I said. Now that was all my figures I showed you here. I have diff a bunch of other things that you saw before. My Godzillas and all kinds of other things. And this is a battle borrow. There's only two figures made. And that's my playset of, uh, what's this called, uh, Bruce Rain Manor. And so forth, so forth. Thank you very much for coming to my room again. Uh, I'm going to continue my vid videos. We're going to do our first, third segment. We're going to start on videos of monsters and, and their, the toys and the videos. So, pass the junkie out, stay plastic, and don't forget. It's, oh, come on, malfunction. Halloween. <laughs> Stay horror.